Hi guys, welcome to Hank's True Barbecue. Today we're gonna smoke a fatty. A fatty is like a sausage roll made from ground beef. So you flatten it out and you can add a lot of different stuffings on it or toppings. And then you roll it up like a burrito, wrap it all in bacon and smoke it. Now what could possibly go wrong with that one? If you have kids in the family, make sure they get in and help out because this is really cooking with your hands, which is something I like by the way. So it's nice, uh, quite easy to put together. You smoke it in like an hour, an hour and a half. We're gonna do a traditional low and slow on this one. Uh, I'm gonna run the grill at roughly say 140 degrees Celsius, which is 280 Fahrenheit. Uh, I'm doing that because, well, the, the ground beef doesn't need any tenderizing. But at the same time, we don't want to cook it too fast because we want to make sure all the smoke gets in and adds all that juicy flavor, which we're look, look, looking for. So let's get started prepping and uh, rolling up our little meat burrito. So for the ground beef, we're going to use one kilogram of uh, ground beef. You can use pork also. You can mix pork and beef, which is fine. doesn't matter much. It all depends on your flavor preferences. We're going to add one egg. I'm gonna mix it up real good after, afterwards. And then I'm gonna add two teaspoons of black pepper. In terms of flavor here, you can add a lot more ingredients if you want. This is simple, but really good. One teaspoon of salt and that's it. And then I'm gonna mix this up and then we're gonna flatten it out and add all the toppings. Now, before we start making the, well, flattening out all the ground beef, make sure you put some kind of cover on the cutting board. This is not to protect the cover, uh, cutting board, but to be able to roll up the, the meat burrito a lot easier once we're gonna get to that phase. So you can use a sushi mat or anything really. I tend to use saran wrap because it's that easy and I can throw it away. So now we're gonna make a shape this one quite thin, like half an inch. Uh, make sure it fits basically the cutting board here. Takes a little while of mushing. So just get in there and start working, working the beef. And afterwards, we're gonna add the topping. All right, I think I got it where I want it. So it's looking good. Keep it thin because we're gonna roll it up anyway. So it's gonna be thick in the end. Now to add the topping. On this one I'm going to use chopped olives and uh, some feta cheese. I think the combination is really nice. And again, this you want to spread this out thinly because we're going to roll this one up. So you're going to get flavor all over anyway, which is really nice. That's what we want. And again here the uh, flavor combinations are endless. Like you can do whatever you want. It's like making your own pizza really. And uh, when it comes to the feta cheese, I chopped it roughly. I'm gonna just squeeze it with my hands to make it even thinner so I get a thin, even layer, well, relatively even, of cheese. Now it doesn't matter if you don't cover all, all the way out to the, the edges here because once we roll it up I'm going to seal it in a bit so it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. Same thing here with the ends. Just make sure you stay within the boundaries and so not too much topping is uh, kind of like leaking out when you roll this up so time to make a roll. Now you see why the plastic comes in real handy. I'm going to do like this to get it started and then pull the plastic back. Uh, because we're gonna roll it a second time and that's when we apply the bacon. So keep going like this. Just pull the pl plastic back and it's dead easy. You wanna wrap it relatively tight. You can use your fingers to tuck in the stuffing like this once you move along. So, okay, okay, looking good. There we have it. Now I'm gonna do it a second time, but first I'm gonna put all the bacon out. So we create a basic a mat or a blanket. If you're really ambitious, you can make a bacon weave. Uh, that looks really good, it's really nice, but I'm basically very lazy, so I'm just gonna put the bacon out, the strips as they are, stretch them a little bit and roll the whole thing up and then we're ready to get to grilling. 
and we tuck the ends in just a little bit. So I just put the bacon on here and I'm going to roll it up. Uh, I wish I had more bacon, but unfortunately the fridge was empty. So note to self, plan ahead next time. The good thing about bacon is it's relatively sticky, so this should be okay. All right, I'm gonna tuck the ends in even more. I wanna make sure it's sealed tight. So there it is, the fatty, time to fire up the grill. So the bottom vent is fully open, got the fire going. It looks like it was going <laughs> recently. All right, there we go. So in like 10 minutes or so, we should be up to temp. Also, I'm using what's called a Smobot, which is a smoker robot. So it basically monitors the top vent for me, closes it, opens it as is needed, depending on how the temperature fluctuates. Really, really smooth. So I can highly recommend it if you have a ceramic grill. So the temp is just right. I've left the saran wrap on because the plan now is to simply roll this one off. Oh, nice one. Always good when it works the first time. Let's see if I can slide this one over a little bit. And we're gonna get the thermometer in somewhere in the middle and close the lid again. All right, time to smoke. All right, we're getting close to done. Time to check it. Now it's looking real good, nice color, but I'm gonna turn up the heat quite a bit for the last 10 minutes to get a little bit more surface. So just a few more minutes. So the fatty has hit 65 degrees internal. I cranked up the heat for like a good 10 minutes to get a little bit more surface and color. So I'm gonna try to remove this one from the grill. See how, yeah, it's looking good. All right, easy peasy. So total cook time, an hour and a half. Uh, we brought it up to 65 internal Celsius, that is. Uh, it's looking real good. Time to slice this fatty, check it out. I like the color, I like this. Gorgeous, the whole spiraling filling all the way out is really nice because you get to taste that feta cheese and the olives all the way through, so. Nice cook, nice easy cook. So all right, dinner is served. You gotta try this at home, it's nice and easy. You can do all kinds of toppings, whatever flavor preferences you have. Get the whole family involved and dinner is served. Thanks for watching.